Well, good morning. We're in California still. We're in Wilderness Lake, a thousand trails park in Manaphy, California. So we're going to go over to the beach today. We're going to go into the Wayback Machine and see what Dave used to do when he was a teenager. We're talking about beach bum. So come along for the ride. As down the road we go and see where the heck I grew up at. Might be interesting, might not. Don't know, but come along for the ride. Make sure you stick around, guys, because we're going to take you for a ride to the Wedge, which is a great surfing spot, but dangerous surfing spot, on the end of Newport Peninsula, California. Dave and Shirley, where have you been? Down the road we go again. Trekking their way through the USA, boondocking while docking in the Taipei. While we're standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona, Altoona, Cheyenne, or down in Punta Gorda. And if your RV needs some minor repair, Dave will give you tips down at Camp Sinclair. We always close it. Yeah, when we leave, just so, so you don't get too crazy. Because he doesn't miss anybody walking by. <laughs> I would yeah. imagine not. No. Well, did I put that air on? No. I don't think. I don't think I did. We well, let me think. Yeah, I did. I did. Sure. No, I don't know. <laughs> you better go back and check. <laughs> It'll get hot in there. Did you take off when it gets hot either? No. No, you don't Open want to get hot. Open that window there. It's the kitchen sink. And then the, I did turn the fan on. Just just so I remember it. looking at it, and then yeah, so I, 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 I think I put it on off and then put it over all the way. I like to leave it. Well, it's I may have. It's best to check, make sure. Yeah, I may have flipped it all the way over, but I may not have. He's gonna go. What's so, that? was that it? Is that it? You're back now? <laughs> That's a quick trip, Dad. That was quick. Yeah. That's a quick one. Oh, shoot. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mike's having the same thing. Yeah. 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 Like I said, RV life. Well, we'll just do it while Mike's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're taking off from Menifee and we're going to start at Newport Beach and work our way down the coast because we're going to see where Dave used to hang out when he was a kid and used to thumb a lot. So come along for the ride. As down the road? No, you did it wrong. Oh. Come along for the ride chasing our dreams as down the road we go. <laughs> so come along for the ride as chasing our dreams and, and down, down the, the road, road we, we go. go. What'd you forget? My pills. Oh, you have your camera? Yeah, I got my camera. You got an extra battery? Yep. Is I got all that stuff batteries? today. Oh yeah. I got extra batteries. I got extra gimbals. I got a bag full of crap in the back. Excuse me. Did bag full of stuff in the back. back. Alright, so I guess we'll go out this way. Well, here we are at Surf City. Huntington Beach, California. That's the pier way out there. Surf's up today, and there's some surfers out there. If you can see them, they're pretty far away. On a surf, and we brought our surfboard. This is where we went. We'd surf right down in here because you can see the waves are pretty good.
Now that we've seen some really good surfing here at uh, Pier at Huntington Beach, we're going to head south down to Newport Beach Peninsula and take a look at the wedge. So come along, might get exciting, never know. So as we head to Newport, you'll notice on the right that there's a lot of day use and there are some campsites, but they're either in a state or a county park and you have to get online to get those. Uh, even the day use areas, some of them were closed, probably because of you know what, but you can still walk out there. They were closed to parking and stuff, but there was plenty of parking. Huntington Beach is a pretty nice area. So we're gonna travel on down here and get down to Newport as soon as we can. Day use fee $15. So this is all day use. No on this side. On this side here. Uh, more than likely, there's a different entrance for that one. Then they got it closed. Now that entrance must be down there. Here we are in Newport Peninsula at the Wedge. Very dangerous surf spot, but we're having a good time watching everybody else get to it. The reason they call this place the Wedge is, is the way the waves form off the end of the jetty. Now in a south swell, which would be a storm out in the ocean, a south swell will come in, hit that jetty, and then turn back north again. When the two waves intersect, they form what's called a wedge. A six-foot wave can turn into a 12-foot wave out of nothing, which can throw the surfer out in front of the wave and land in the sand, because this is a shore break. So you got a 12-foot wave pounding on you from the top, and there's only about a foot or two of water that you're going to go in. Also, if you get caught on the wrong part of that wave, you could get thrown up on the rocks on the jetty, which is where a lot of injuries and deaths occur. In the next video segment, we'll show you exactly what we were talking about on how that wave hits the jetty, turns left, and meets the other wave head on, which creates the wedge. All right, we're on the end of Newport Peninsula. This is the jetty on the north side. And this is a famous place for surfing and body surfing. Oh, well, there's a couple guys here. Let's get down here and take a look. It's called the wedge. This place is deadly when the waves are up. When the waves are 10 to 15, there's a lot of people here surfing and body surfing, and people get hurt because it's a shore break. It breaks big and it breaks right into the sand. There's why they call it the wedge. Here's a prime example. You see the outside wave and then the inside wave and this surfer is about to go for a ride of his life. Right there is the wedge and as you can see that wave is twice or more as tall as the original wave and there he goes. Shore break crashes down in about two or three feet of water. Here it is again in slow motion the whole series. Come the two waves together. The wedge is starting to form. He's still on the left wave, and now he tries to get across the front of the, the right wave. There's the wedge right there. As you can see how tall it is, sucks him up, throws him down. 
just another day at the Wedge, Newport Peninsula, California. Here we go again, coming up the wave on the left. As you can see, the waves going down the breakwater are turning and coming across, straight across that other wave, which forms a wave that is a lot bigger than the original. Here it goes, here it goes, it's building, it's building. There it goes, and if you're caught in that wave, you're gonna go for a ride that you don't want. Smash City. After watching all the action down at the Wedge, we thought we'd take a ride through the peninsula and end up down where the ferry is in about the middle. And we'll get to look at some pretty nice houses, check out some cool boats. So come on, here we go. So we took a ride over to the little ferry that takes cars and pedestrians over to Balboa Island. It's not very far away and once you're on Balboa Island you can either come back or go up the bridge and go back to uh, the Coast Highway. As you can tell there's also ample places to shop for the women as the guys look at the boats and gee wish we had one. Then I sent him my keys. Ouch. Well, it sets, sets that ring thing off. Ring? You go, and the phone goes, and, ee, 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 and you can't, uh, and you can't find where to shut it off. So I had to turn the phone completely off and back on. And I'm like, dang. We did good, good morning, YouTube. This is RV life. <laughs> Gee, sometimes. <laughs> 